Namaste. Some safety points when practicing the Kandasana. So the outer edges of our feet, especially the rounded bones yeah, of the small toes are anchoring or pressing in that hollow spot yeah, between the two big ribs in here. Yeah, so that becomes the anchor. So you prevent your spine from rounding or arching backwards. Therefore, you know, to do that, you need to, as you rotate the thigh bone externally, yeah, you need to pull yeah, the inner thigh bone towards the back. And that will make room for yeah, the whole of your leg to move closer to you and not just externally. Yeah, so to do that, yeah, to breathe through it, breathing in, pull inwards, and rotate, yeah, make sure you're not rounding the back. Good, and then from there, let me lift my shirt off so you can see, you can lift your chest forward and then move, yeah, the outer edges of your feet inside that hollow spot. You won't miss it. Like they're perfectly, yeah, contouring one another. Yeah, in here, so as, as if I'm, Resting my body, yeah, right there, yeah, the joints, yeah, the intersection. So even if I move forward and back, yeah, the spine remains stable, yeah, there's no pain, although this will require, yeah, plenty of years of learning, yeah, but, yeah, hopefully I'm able to add more safety instructions into your practice. Good. So you can breathe through it and meditate upon the distant subtle sensations you feel inside. And to release a position, same as the entry, inhale, draw in up, and release your legs, and move away from the stretch. And then you can do some light shaking around. See you in the next round.